goalkeeper and it is 2-0. They're running away with it. Rivers United up against Isaac Mimosas. Is the corner that comes in and a goal! Oh, it's in the back of the net! And a fantastic effort there coming from that man! a shell shock bench there for Lupopo. Gallants go top of Group A. Ladies and gentlemen, good Mesdames evening from Cairo, the city that bonsoir. houses the Red Headquarters of the Confederation of African Football. Le siège de la CAF, la Confédération africaine de football, euh, au nom du chef de la Confédération, M. Moussébinou, nous souhaitons la bienvenue au tirage au sort de l'an 2023. Cette période est considérée vraiment euh, un événement de poids. Lors de cette coupe, ces tournois permettront aux équipes de participer de manière beaucoup plus meilleure. Le championnat continental est vraiment euh, doté de matchs excellents jusqu'à ce qu'on ait les derniers huit groupes et les dernières huit équipes. Il y a huit équipes. Asek Mimoso de la Côte d'Ivoire, Aswa Klopp du Maroc, il y a aussi Kales de l'Afrique du Sud et Pyramids de l'Égypte et Kalen de du Nigeria, Afrique de la Tanzanie, USM de l'Algérie et US Sentin de la Tunisie. Avant de commencer le tirage au sort, prière de regarder ce que ces équipes ont fait. Energy, that vibe, that atmosphere into the stadium. Definitely towards the far post where they've got plenty of bodies, and that's turned in. Go going for the goal and shoots and scores, and that is 2-0. Here is Mayele again. This time gets the left footed shot off and finds the bottom corner. Second chance ball and tucked away brilliantly. The defence has been looking very unconvincing. Turn and touch another opportunity, another goal. Bufosse brings the ball back. And a chance for the centre back. Feast on Mayele scored. Ninth goal of the season. Sans aucun doute, nous 
Nous allons avoir les 18 équipes pour savoir qui serait à la quart de finale et nous allons inviter à la tribune un des champions de l'Afrique. C'est Zico qui a euh, remporté le championnat des clubs et aussi euh, le collègue qui a marqué le but euh, contre l'équipe nationale. Il y avait aussi un match qui a euh, été justement gagné en Libye. Ben, souhaitons la bienvenue à Okoku. Ah, oh, oh. Vraiment, c'est un honneur de vous avoir avec nous euh, aujourd'hui, de vous rencontrer aujourd'hui, euh, lorsque vous participez. Of the Champions League 1982-1983, and both of them were against the Ahly of Egypt by coincidence. So, uh, what was the inspiration for you and the whole team to win the edition after losing the one before? Thank you very much for this opportunity. I am very honored to be here this evening uh, concerning this ceremony. Yeah, back this 40 years ago, I was then. 20 years where Asante Kotoko and Ari had to have a finals uh, back to back, both whom and away matches. We were in confidence in ourselves, Asante Kotoko, as we win all our matches throughout the uh, group stages until we met El Ali in Egypt here, Cairo here, when we lost. 3-0 within 15 to 20 minutes. It was like uh, dreaming. And so uh, we lost the game and in Kumasi it was a formality. They took the cup in our own grounds and it was very, very sad with the teaming of all these great supporters and the whole uh, Ghana was silent for some days. Uh, Unfortunately, too, we, we missed some of our great, uh, uh, the current players, where they left the club. And so we need to struggle to come back again. But God's so good, we prepare ourselves, and we were fighting through, through dedication and discipline. We came back. And fortunately for us, and unfortunately for Er Ali, we met again. And in the same venue here, When we were about to play them, we decided to go and look at the 82 match where we lost 3-0. And we get to know all the tricks and the system and how to match them boot for boot. And we came here prepared, aiming to get a goal draw or 1-1. Then we know that in Ghana, we are going to take the cup. And it happens so, where we drift 0-0 here, And the return match in Ghana, I am proud to announce that I was the one who scored the winning goal for Asante Kotoko to lift up the cup. In all this, I can say it was a good memory. And these two clubs were having a good players. And uh, I cherish this moment. Thank you very much. So I think it's also an opportunity for me to know what are you up to these days? What do you usually do? Your daily routine, your family, stuff like this. <laughs> yeah, I have a wife with uh, three God bless. Yeah. <laughs> daughters. <laughs> How did you know? God bless. <laughs> 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 three daughters. And I have seven grandchildren. Uh, four of them are boys and three of them are girls. And, uh, I'm still with my wife, Mrs. Ivaopokunti. <laughs> She'll be watching me. I must be careful. <laughs> so, and uh, a few years ago, about six years ago, 
I was uh, the CEO of Koto Asante Kotoko. Uh, and uh, now I have uh, my uh, academy called Karis Football Academy that I'm running. And uh, I'm also I also want to give to the young ones. Okay, I have to say that uh, the football in Ghana is doing absolutely great these days. And of course, uh, legends like you must be ha a part of all the evolution that's happening in the Ghanaian football, right? Yeah, okay, we have uh, to show appreciation for Samuel. Thank you so much. We're so happy that you Thank are with you. us here today. And uh, now I think it's the time for the draw. We have to welcome CAF Director of Competitions, Samson Adamo, to supervise the draw process. Samson, it's always a pleasure working with you. Thank you very much. So, as usual, um, we're talking about a competitive uh, participation from all the teams in the group stage, but of course, going to the next level, we are expecting more from all the teams. Absolutely, and this is why we're here today. The teams are here well represented, and I'm sure they cannot wait to see who they'll be drawn against. Hopefully. The stage is all yours, and I, I, I can say a goodbye now, and good luck for all the teams. Thank you very much. Assalamu alaikum, as I say here in Egypt, and a warm welcome to the official draw of the Total Energies Cup Confederations Cup knockout stage draw. As we celebrate this holy month, I would like to wish Ramadan Karim to all our Muslim brothers and sisters, and a happy Easter to our brothers and sisters of the Christian faith. Also, I would like to thank Marianne and Zico for their insightful submissions at this stage for setting the good stage for what we know to be the competition that would happen right now. And now, before we start the draw, I would just basically like to give a good insight because this stage of the competition, the journey so far at this stage has been very, very entertaining. We had some nail-biting moments, plenty of stakes, even until the final day on Sunday where we had the last team that qualified. We witnessed thrilling games and interesting outcomes that has kept us all on our feet. After 145 games, we have a record of 300 goals, which is an average of two goals per match. It has been an outstanding run. And we're confident, Zico, right, that the, yet is, the best is still yet to come in this stage of the competition. And now for this edition, we have a rare occurrence because the eight teams who will be drawn in the quarterfinals come from eight different member associations, which hasn't happened in a very long time. Only pyramids of Egypt are maintaining the sport in this stage of the competition. And we have Asfa from Morocco, who are the only teams that have won the competition before, which is in 2005. And now I'm sure the fans cannot wait. Before starting the draw with Zico that will be assisting me, let us have one final look at the teams that will be drawn in the quarterfinals. <laughs>
And now straight on to the draw proceedings. We have one draw constraint for this evening, and the draw is very simple. The only draw constraints that we have is that two teams from the same group in the group stage cannot be paired against each other. And we have the manager of the competitions, Mr. Imad Chenuda, which will be assisting me for the draw for this evening. And as I mentioned earlier, we have Marumo Gallants, who are the winners of Group A. They cannot be paired against USM Alger. And Asek Musa, who are the winners of Group B, cannot be paired against Rivers United. And so Asfa cannot be paired against Pyramids of Egypt. And Yanga cannot be paired against US Monastery. And this is why the teams have been split into five different ports. The runners up team will be in the port number one, which is right in front of uh, Zico. And then the winners of the groups have been split into four different ports, which have the winners of Group A in one port, Maruma Gallant, and then Asek Mimosa, Aspa, and Yanga. And then we have an empty port, which the first team that will be picked from the runners of port will pick the other teams, and the mad will be assisting to mix them in the port, so we reveal the teams that will be paired against each other. And now for the first quarterfinal pairing, I would ask uh, Samuel to please reveal to us the first team from the runners of port. Hilamis FC. The team? Pyramids. Pyramids FC of Egypt. Pyramids are one of the last team that qualified. Pyramids will be playing the first leg of the quarterfinals at home. They have appearance in this stage of the competition. They were the losing finalists in 2020. Pyramids cannot be paired against Asfa, so we have Marumo Gallants, Asek Mimosa, and Young Africans who will be one of the teams that will be playing against Pyramids. Samuel, please. Marumo Garants FC. Marumo Garants of South Africa, one of the debutants in this competition from South Africa. This is the first time they'll reach this stage of the competition. They'll be playing against Pyramids in the return leg at home. And now, moving on to the quarterfinals too. We have Usma Rivers United or US Monastery. U.S. Monastery. U.S. Monastery from Tunisia will be playing the first quarterfinals. The first match of the second quarterfinals. They just celebrated their centenary anniversary just a few days ago. They are also one of the debutants from Tunisia. Let's see if they'll be lifting the trophy. Congratulations to U.S. Monastery for reaching 100 years of existence. They'll be playing against either Asek Musa or Asfa, they cannot be paired against Yanga. So please, Samuel. Asek Mimosa. Asek Mimosa, the first Ivorian club to reach the knockout stage in 2014. They're also the champions in 1998, and they are the pride of the host of our next African Cup of Nations. Asek Mimosa have produced some of the best talents that we know in the world, the likes of Yaya Toure, Jevinho, and Solomon Kalu. Let's see if they'll be placing their hands on the trophy. They'll be playing the return leg at home against US Monastery. Samuel, let's see the team that will be playing in quarterfinal three. We have Usma and Rivers United. USM, Algeria. We have Usma from Algeria, 
they're one of the last two teams to qualify on the final day on Sunday. They will be chasing their maiden continental silverware. They will be playing in quarterfinal three against either Asfa or Yanga. Please reveal to us, Samuel, the opponent of USM Alger. Asfa Club. Asfa of Morocco. They are the only team that have won this competition in this stage of the competition. They won the competition in 2005 and they're the first time in the group stage since 2006, the year after they won. And now, the last pairing that we have in quarter final four, Samuel, we have only one possibility. Can you confirm to us? should be Rivers United. Rivers United FC. Confirm. Thank you, Zico. Rivers United, the pride of Rivers in River State in Nigeria. They're the current champions of the Nigerian League and they finished second in the group stage just behind Asex Mimosa. And they'll be playing against the last team that will be drawn today, Samuel. Young Africans. Young as Africans of Tanzania, also known as Yanga, yeah, the bride of Tanzania. They are having one of their best outings in recent times since the first time they qualified to the quarterfinals. You see the representatives here, wishing them all the best. And now let us have one more look at our pairings for the four quarterfinal matches. And Samuel, I will be asking for your uh, predictions of the team that can be winning the competition. So we have Pyramids of Egypt, who have reached the final also before in the competition. They'll be playing against debutants Barumo Gallants from South Africa. We have U.S. Monasterian from Tunisia playing against Asak Mimosa and USM Alger playing against Asfa from Morocco, which is a North African derby. And we have Rivers United playing against Young African Samuel. Which one of this uh, four quarterfinal pairings are you really looking forward to watching? Which one of them? Uh, Samuel, <laughs> I would like to know from this appearance, which one of the teams do you think would go the farthest, in your opinion? Knowing very well uh, Rivers United, I'm sure you played against Rivers United before Asashi Kotoko. Uh, I will go for Asfa of Morocco. Yes, as far as Morocco, they are the only teams that have won the competition before, so your predictions could be accurate, but we've seen some exciting matches, so it will be very, very good pairing. And now, Samuel, we would go into the draw of the semi-finals, and I will just explain the draw procedure to our viewers at home. We have a pot there with four balls, which contains the four quarterfinals. Uh, pairings, which has QF1, QF2, QF3, QF4. The first two balls picked will be playing the first uh, semi-finals and the last two balls will be playing the second semi-finals. And then the first team that is picked will be playing the first leg at home and the second one will be playing the return leg at home. So now let us see the teams that will be playing in the semi-finals. Please do us honors. Quarterfinals four. QF four. So the first match of the semi finals will be played between the winners of Rivers United and Young Africans. The first leg will be played either in Nigeria or Tanzania. And let's see who they'll be playing against. Samuel, please reveal to us the team that will be completing the first fixtures of the semi finals.
QF1. QF1. So the winners of Rivers United or Young Africans will be playing against the winners of the Pyramid or Marumo Gala. And this is our first pairing for the semi final. And now the last two teams for the second semi final. Samuel, please. QF2. QF2, which is the winners of US Monastery from Tunisia or ASEC Mimosa. And we have one more possibility, which is QF3. So, Samuel, can you confirm to us that we have QF3? Please go ahead. QF3. 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 Confirm. Thank you very much. Which will be the winners of USM Alger or Asfa or Morocco. So now we have our semi final fixtures. And just to remind the audience that the CAF Executive Committee have decided that the final of the CAF interclub competitions will be played in a home and away fixture. So for the finals, the first leg will be played in the winners of the first semi-final and the return leg, which we will know the winners of this competition will be played in the home of the semi-finals too. And this concludes our draw for today. On my side, I can only wish the eight teams all the best in their campaign to win the prize competition of the Total Energies Cup Confederations Cup. Samuel, Zico, thank you very much. You've been outstanding today. And please, we would be conducting the draw of the CAF Champions League in about 15 minutes. So please stay with us. And I would wish all the teams once again all the best of luck. Stay with us. Thank you very much.
Yeah, well, did you guys watch the first one? Okay. Did you see me? Ladies and gentlemen, please take your seats. The event will start shortly. Madame Monsieur. I say that we are pleased to hear that the uh, academic body from Malta and the UNESCO are coming. Throughout, the event has steady parallel days.
I was trying to call you. I was trying to call you to say they want to start this. <laughs> Welcome to the 2022-23 Camp Champions League. Chance here for JSK. All work to the left-hand side. Opportunity. Goal. El Hossein Mouaki Dani with the finish. Books JSK's place in the quarterfinals. Looking uh, really promising for Raja. They've got players lining up. Hava looks to strike it and he strikes it clean. Man to wait, Matt goes into the near post. The keeper misses it, and that's 1 0. Pokes in by Arsene Zola. Using against, using him though, and finding the net himself. Latuch Chama does get the opener in additional time. Ball to invite Percy Tau to attack. Cuts back. It's a lovely reverse ball. And there's the vital second. What an introduction. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening from Cairo, the city of headquarters of the Confederation of African Football. And on behalf of the CAF president, Dr. Patrice Motsipi, we welcome you all, including viewers from outside the continent, to the draw of the knockout stages of the Total Energies CAF Champions League 2022-2023. This is the 59th season of the Premier Continental Club Championship, a competition that features elite teams across Africa. A unique competition with a touch of class, tradition and culture spites with its essential entertaining elements. Eight remaining teams representing six member associations with their no fate for the next stage in few minutes. And they are defending champion Widad Athletic Club of Morocco joined by their city rivals Raja Club Athletic, Al Ahli Assi from Egypt, Espiron Sportive de Tunis from Tunisia, Mameludi Sundowns of South Africa, and from Algeria, we have GS Kabili and CR Belizdad, and finally, Simba Assi from Tanzania. And of course, before we start proceeding with the draw, let's watch snippets from the 18th journey in the group stage matches. Welcome to the 2022-23 CAF Champions League. Back in, another chance, and it is five. And it's Aulu. Oh, 
There you go. Now. Shot, and it's a great save, but uh, pick, that's what he does, my Luda. Picks up the scraps. Side inside the Cairo International Stadium here in the Egyptian capital. Well, Shad waits for it patiently, cuts inside, and it's game set and match. As El Shad steps off the bench to grab a devilish double to send the Cairo International Stadium wild. That's a corner. Phenomenal performance by our eight teams qualified to the quarterfinals and every door ceremony comes with anxiety for the teams. And to help us, Condorners, there are two African legends are coming to help us with the draw, representing two generations. Their names ring a bell when mentioned across the four corners uh, of the continent and beyond. The first legend is one of the most successful and longest playing players in the Nigerian Football League. He also wrought history with Inimba by winning two consecutive uh, Africa Champions League in 2003 and 2004. Please welcome Victor Izinji. It's a great pleasure to have you with us here tonight. Thank you. I'm really honored to be here tonight. It's our pleasure, of course. Joining him is another player who needs no introduction, a core member of the golden generation of Espiron Sportive de Tunis in the early 2000s. He reached the final of the CAF Champions League twice, 1999 and 2000. He is a winner of six Tunisian league titles and represented the Carthage Eagles at the African Cup of Nations, FIFA World Cup, and also the Olympic Games. Please, let's welcome Ali Zaitouni. I will start with you, Victor. Yeah. It's never easy to reach two consecutive finals, and what about winning them? So, of course, you have so much memories to tell us about. Well, you know, before you go to two, you have to count one. So let me start with the first one in 2003. It okay. wasn't an easy task for us. But immediately we were assembled, we knew we were fantastic players. We, we came from every part of the country. And uh, we found ourselves going until we got to the group stage. We were unbeaten. So we believed we were invisible till we got to the group stage. And in the first game of the group stage, we were hammered 6 1 by Ismaili. <laughs> and that's when we realized that this is football. We can't continue going the way we're going. Then we have to, s to start again and start replanning. And then we started planning. But the funny thing is that the finals, we met Ismaili again. 
Yes. And that we knew this is the time for revenge. And we were able to, to win them in the finals. And then we won the trophy. That's a memory that we all have to cherish for the rest of our lives. Because at some point we felt it was going off our hands. But somehow, some way we were able to get it back. And that's the, the, the basic thing about it. 2004 was also amazing. But I think 2003 is the most it tasted <laughs> better. Yeah, the right. best one. Right. It's a great pleasure to have you with us here tonight. Thank uh, you. Captain Ali, we're going to be here with you. And the truth is, Nadi Tarajji, a great deal of the African and the African region, especially in the Middle East, and the Middle East, and the Middle East, and the Middle East, and the Middle East. But you were a big part of the history of the history with a great deal of the history. Tell us about the history. Thank you for the invitation to all of you. شرف كبير لي اللي أنا موجود اليوم في هذه التظاهرة وخاصة معناها اليوم نمثل تونس ونمثل خاصة ترجل التونسي اللي كان فضله كبير عليا اللي أنا اليوم متواجد متواجد هنا اليوم يظهر ترجل التونسي من قادش نعود نحكي ونفسر وإلا نصف الفريق هذا فريق هذا كما قلت لك فضله كبير عشت ما أحلى ذكريات من اللي بديت الكورة خاصة في التظاهرات الأفريقية يظل اليوم فريق الترجة التونسي في كل بطولة أفريقية متواجد وهذا يدل على خدمة كبيرة كان بها نادي العريق هذا اللي من جيل الجيل قاعدين نأخذه في في المشهد على بعضنا وهذا شرف كبير اللي رحنا وحاجة فرحنا اللي نحن اليوم نمثل الترجة التونسي ونمثل كرة قدم التونسية من إنسان زادا اتحاد مونستيري لليوم زادا مشرفنا ومشرف كرة قدم التونسية حضرتك مشرفنا النهاردة وسعداء جدا بوجودك We're so happy to have both of you with us and uh, thanks to our legends who are honoring us with the invitation of this uh, special occasion and now is the moment of truth we have all been waiting for Let's welcome CAF Director of Competitions Samson Adamo to conduct the draw Welcome back, Samson. Thank you. So I think uh, when we're talking about the knockout stages, we're taking the suspense to a whole new level. Absolutely, and I pers personally cannot wait. I'm sure the teams also cannot wait. This is the CAF Champions League knockout stage draw. This is where all the action happens. Let the action begin. <laughs> Thank Thanks. you so much. I was so happy to be part of this event. And of course, I wish all the best of luck to all the teams. See you later. Thank you very much, uh, Marianne. And assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to the official draw of the Total Energies CAF Champions League knockout stage draw. And again, once again, please, a round of applause for Marianne. And of course, our two legends who will be assisting us this evening. It's an honor for me to be sharing the stage with you to conduct this draw. Thank you. Thank you. And they have set the stage for what promises to be an unforgettable event. As we gather here today, we acknowledge that it is the holy month of both faith. So Ramadan Karim to all our Muslim brothers and sisters and happy Easter to our brothers and sisters of the Christian faith. We come together in one community which is bound by love of football and of course for our passion for African football which we all share. This year's competition has been nothing short of spectacular. We have 58 teams from 46 member associations who have been battling it out so far until the stage of the competition. Each one determined to get their hands on the prestigious CAF Champions League trophy which you have in front of us. We have over 130 games that have been played so far, resulting in jaw dropping 290 goals, which you saw some of the amazing goals earlier. And we have an average of 2.2 goals. Now, as we move closer to the next stage of the competition, we have so much that is at stake for us this evening. We have holders of the trophy, with that Athletic Club, Al Ali, CR Belus Dad. Esperance de Tunis, Mamelodi Sundowns, and Raja Casablanca, who are all back to defend their honors in the competition as it gets even more intense than never before. Between these eight powerhouses, they have a whooping 23 trophies under their belt. Only two teams uh, have not lifted this trophy, which is C.R. Belizdad and Simba. But who knows, because the competition is full of surprises and 
we all cannot wait to see what is in front of us. And now the moment we have all been waiting for to proceed with the draw. And just before that, let us have a look one last time at the teams that will be drawn this evening. Let's go over there. It. And now on to the draw proceedings. To be assisting us this evening, we have Ahmed Salem, who is the manager of the CAF Champions League. He will be making sure that we make no mistake today. And for the draw proceedings, it's similar to the CAF Confederations Cup, which the only draw constraints we have is the two teams from the same group in the group stage cannot play against each other. This is why the teams have been grouped into separate pots in the Pot number one, we have the runners-up, which contains G.S. Kabeli, Alali, Simba, and C.R. Belvizdar. And the first team that will be picked will be paired against the winners of uh, the group stage from Group A all the way to Group D, which we have Widad, Mamelodi Sundance, Raja Casablanca, and Esperanza de Tuni. So, for example, if G.S. Kabeli, who are the runners-up of Group A, are picked, they cannot be paired against Widad. So the only possibility for them are Mamelodi Sundance, Raja Casablanca, and Esperanza de Tuni. The same goes for Alali. They cannot be paired against Mamelodi Sundance. Simba cannot be paired against Raja, and C. Belizat cannot be paired against Esperance the Tunis. And now, Victor and Ali, are you ready? Yes, yes. Sure. Victor, please do us the honors to reveal to us the first team that will be playing the quarterfinals one. Simba SC. Pride of Tanzania, Simba SC is the first team drawn. Simba have their third appearance at the quarterfinals. They'll be hoping to go further this time. They'll be playing against either Wydad Athletic Club, Mamelodi Sundowns, or the Blood and Gold Esperanza Tunis. So it's only right for Ali to do us the honors. With that, our defending champions, with that athletic club, who won the trophy, being led by Walid Regragi, who led also Morocco to the semi-finals of the World Cup. With that, have eight consecutive seasons in the knockout stage. They will be eyeing the fourth title. They'll be playing the return leg at home. And now for the second quarterfinals, Victor. Al Ali SC. Al Ali SC, one of the last teams to qualify. They played 
in an electrifying uh, stadium. It was good to see the fans back again in the stadium. They won Al Hilal of Sudan 3 0. This is their seventh consecutive season in the knockout stage, and Al Ali have whooping 10 titles in the Cup Champions League. They'll be playing against either Raja Casablanca or Esperanza Junior. Raja Casablanca. <laughs> Ali against Raja Casablanca, Morocco, one of the two teams from Morocco. Raja are unbeaten in this season, and they've been amazing because they have amassed the highest number of points in the group stage, which is 16. The Green Eagles, as they're known, they were the champions in 1989, 1997, and in 1999. And as I explained earlier, two teams from the same group cannot play against each other, which we have the situation with Sierra Belusdad and Esperanza de Tunis. They cannot be paired against each other. So it is going to be an automatic draw. So if GS Kabele is picked, they can play only against Esperanza Tunis. And if Sierra Belusdad is picked, they can play only against Mamelodi Sundance. So just for the formalities, Victor, please reveal to us if it will be GS Kabele or Sierra Belusdad. C.R. Belizdad. C.R. Belizdad of Algeria. This is a third consecutive appearance in the quarterfinals. The Algerian clubs have the past the last three seasons. They've been incredible. And C.R. Belizdad can play only against the Masindara, which is Mamalodi Sundowns. So please, Ali. Sundowns. Mamalodi Sundowns also known as the Brazilians. They claim their sixth title just a few days ago, still unbeaten in the competition, and they remain one of the first teams that qualified in this round of the competition. This will be our pairing for quarterfinals three and quarterfinals four. We have only one possibility, which is Jess Kabele playing against Esperanza Tunis. So, Victor, please reveal to us the final team. Yes, Kabil. D.S. Kabeli of Algeria. This is the first time in the knockout stage since 2010. The Canaries, as they know, they're African champions in 1981 and in 1990. They'll be playing against Ali. Esperance Sportive de Tunis. Saraji, to see the big smile. Ali, <laughs> also known as the Blood and Gold. They are four-time winners. They are regular face in the knockout stage of the competition. And they have appeared last time in 2017. This is our last quarterfinal uh, pairing. We have GS Kabele against Esperance de Tunisie. So let us have a look again. We have Simba and Widad in the first quarterfinal. And in the second, second quarterfinal, we have El Ali against Raja. C.R. Belusdad against Mamelodi Sundowns and J.S. Kabeli playing against Esperance, the Tunisian. And now we would go straight into the semi finals uh, draw. We have four balls in the pot just in front of our legends. The first two balls picked will play the first semi final, and then the second one will play the second semi final. And just to remind the audience, the final will be played in home and away uh, fixtures. and the winners of the semi-final one will play the first leg at home, and the second semi-final will play the return leg at home. So please, uh, Victor, please do us the honors, reveal our first fixtures in the semi-final. QF4. QF4. So the first match will be between the winners of Esperanza Tunisi or J.S. Kabele. So the first leg will be played either in Algeria or Tunisia. Ali.
QF2. QF2, which will be between Al Ali or Raja Casablanca. So the return leg will be played either in Egypt or Morocco. <laughs> Victor, please do us the honors to see the second <laughs> semi final. <laughs> QF1. QF1, which is Simba or Widad, we play in the first match of second semi final. And lastly, Ali, the last ball pick this evening. QF3. QF3, which is going to be the winner of the CR Belwizdat of Algeria or Mamelodi Sundowns. And as I explained earlier, the final will be played in home and away match and the winners of the semi-final one will play the first leg at home and the winners of the semi-final two will be the home where we would know the winners of the Total Energies Cup Champions League. And now just before we leave, I will start with you, Victor. You know very well about winning the Cup Champions League. You know it's going to be extremely tight our competition because all the eight teams are have at least 23 titles so they're no strangers to the competition which one of the teams do you fancy to go lift the trophy well for me i believe that uh, for any team to have gotten to this stage there are no pushovers you, you can't push any team over for them to have gone through the group stages that i've gotten here but i think the two teams that will stand out for me is al ali against raja Anybody that is able to go through in that group might probably get to the final. Absolutely. We also have Simba who haven't won it before and they've had an impressive run for this season. So I'm sure that all of the teams, including Widad, will be looking to defend their title. So thank you very much. Ali, c'est à toi. Je bien savoir quelle équipe. Bien sûr. À quoi Taraji. Taraji, je pense que. Euh, les huit clubs, ils sont, ils sont forts. Je pense qu'il y a des surprises. On va avoir des surprises. Mais je pense que, pour moi, mon favori, c'est l'espérance. Et euh, bonne chance pour, euh, pour mon équipe. Bien sûr, on peut seulement souhaiter bonne chance à toutes les équipes. Je vous remercie vraiment d'avoir nous joint ce soir. Victor, je vous remercie beaucoup. Vous avez tous été excellents ce soir, de ma part. And as you said, you can wish all the eight teams all the best of luck in their campaign for the winners of the CAF Champions League in the season of 2022 and 2023. My side, thank you very much, everyone, and Ramadan Karim.